Okay, so today I'm going to try and show you a little start of how to make a GUI window or GUI as some people call it with Encody. Um, I've started doing a little bit of a write up on the site, which is codification.co.uk. Uh, that's the URL there. If you just want to go on codification.co.uk. and search GUI I'll be adding to this as I go and I'll stick these videos on links to the YouTube so yeah, that's it there it's basically all I've done I've come across I think it was this thread yeah explain about Pi XBMCT and it's an adaption of I think it's Pi QT but I did have a look at that and that seems different in the way it works because I think it's C++ but anyways there's a load of um, different things you can have it's four base classes dialog window, full window, blank window I tried the full window had some errors with that but for now we'll be using add on dialog window and it's based on the XBMC GUI provides a parent interface window so that was that um, all I've done just for a quick example is copy this this code here and leave now this code here uh, I copied some code anyway <laughs> just to have a practice with apparently it's in this one there we go that's it on that first thread it was just this one so I'm assuming you've got a rough idea how to set up an add-on basically if not there's the Cody wiki page which gives you an idea about the structure and how to lay it all out and what you'll need for it to run so you need addon.py addon.xml you can have a change.txt up to you you want your fan art and your icon for the image images license.txt you don't have to have but it just it's there if you want to put it in and then a folder called resources which you have to have the settings like XML in and you don't have to have the rest I'll put a language one in just to put this English so here's the one I've set up um, got media in it I just added a media one just for them, but you can edit this and change this once, once it's installed. To initially get it installed, I could say it's just got that code copied in there, and I've put xbmc dot plugin xbmc plugin dot end of directory. So obviously you got to import xbmc plugin. So that's your default setup. Save that. Close it. Uh, it's probably best to close it because when you install it, I have a habit of editing that one rather than the one in the Kodi folder and wondering why things don't change. And then next, you add on the XML. It's pretty much a standard layout. Uh, importing your Python as a requirement. URL, URL resolver just in case you do anything with URL resolver your common uh, module and this one's important script.module py xbmct version 1.1.4 so make sure you import that as a requirement to the add-on you can take the module itself stick it as a folder and then import it that way but 
I've just put it as a requirement so it will just automatically import it when you install it. So then we'll go to zip it up. Um, what else we'll put in there? Resources, don't forget your sentence to XML. Uh, I'll put in init.py, we don't need that. Oh, this is just blank. I'll just put it in there just in case you want to add any settings. I've not tried it without a settings to XML. It probably will still run. It will just error when you try and configure the add-on. Because obviously there's nothing to configure. But in my error. So I'll just stick it in there just in case. Let's go to that. Here's some ones I made earlier. So... Zip that up. There it is. Test UI two. Go and code it. You should not have to do this by now. Install from zip file. See. Desktop. And test UI two. It should install. There we go. Add on enabled. Yours are probably saying installed, I've just uninstalled it just so I can show you how, it, how to put it in from afresh. So now you've got the, my add ons, video add ons, it'll be in here somewhere. What did I call it? GUI testing. And there you go. So I open that up, it'll literally just give you that window. And that's it. It says goodbye world. Uh, keep that in there. So now we'll go to our Cody folder. And make sure we've got the relevant file open. Uh, so it's our default.py we want to work on the rest. You can just leave for now, it'll work alright. So this is it basically. First thing you do, create a window, which is like that. Then set the window depth and height and the grid resolution. So it'll be two rows, two columns. It just tells it um columns up or it's like this so you imagine your windows around that and then that will give it reference points where you can put anything on it obviously if you put that as 200 300 then you'd have 200 that way and then 300 the other way it just gives you more scope the size of the window is still be the same it's just obviously the more columns and rows you have the more flexible it is and the more places you can put things but obviously if you've got too many then it's unnecessary and you've got to sit there working out what's going where so that's that so we put that back two and three then create a text label to put on it so that there is setting your window up so that's your window set for the background that's your window of it so that's that set and I'll show you now if you edit anything um, yeah it says here that's your title for the window you can leave it blank if you're not fussed about having one and say we put that as 500 and it should change the size there you go you see it's got wider so that's 500 on your X 150 on your Y change that to 350 change it how you like and there you go obviously the button stretched because you've got no sizes for the button but we'll get on to that um, and you've got label equals that 
which is this is a poly xbm ct window it's just a text value that it's putting on top which is this bit here and then you gotta stick it on the window so that just tells you what the label is and that tells you to put it on there so you place control is like a common thing every time you create something you gotta place it on the window it says placing the label and naught naught that's the reference on your rows and columns and then your column spans how many columns is going to stretch across so that's going to stretch across pretty much the whole thing so if you put that as five Oh, that might be where it finishes then. But anyways, I'm not 100% familiar with this. I've only had a little play. I just thought I'd do some videos as I go. And we can all learn together. Okay, and next you're creating your button. Create a button, which is your close button on there. That's giving it a label. Telling it what it is. Placing your button, 1-1. One, one. And then setting the focus on it so when you open it, you can see it's focused on the button. So when you press close, and then obviously, if you put um, set the focus as label, it won't be highlighted. So you'll basically be focusing on this, but because it's got no. Um, focus texture then it just doesn't highlight or anything it just tells you where to start so if you're going to put your keys in where where to go from there and then connect the button to a function so window.connect that's another common thing so you're connecting that button to window.close which is the command to close the window and then window.connect which connects your back key okay I'm still trying to find a big list of all your buttons and what they do in the PyXBMCT module which is near somewhere there all you've got is this add-on window and also you got your align lefts um, oh there so you got nav back so that's the code you'll use Py XBMCT dot nav back and then this tells you what to do with it and mouse wheel down, mouse move, mouse left click. Obviously, because things are going more Android based, it's better to try and set it up for keys if you can, so you can navigate with your up and down arrows. But that's pretty much it. That's just a simple little GUI window. And there you go. So that's a start. Um, I'll leave this one here. This is a basic one. I'll do another one pretty much now. And um, I'll show you how to well, just start from scratch basically. Stick your own background in and put buttons on or whatever you want to do. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.